Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Coslix. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get ELO quickly in Brawlhalla and how to keep gaining ELO. Because this is something a lot of people struggle in. I get messages like, hey, I'm in gold. How do I get better and stuff like that? And there's kind of one way to get better. And I'm going to be explaining that in this first ex experimental game. And then we're going to go over the replay. And I'm just going to show you to a further extent what exactly I'm doing wrong and how to win obviously but um yeah if you do enjoy this hit that like subscribe and comment if you have any ideas join the discord there's an ideas section I look at it if there's some like good ideas I'll do it and uh yeah last thing is I've been streaming on twitch we just hit 5,000 followers thank you guys but uh, if you want to follow me there link is down below link to everything is down below but let, let's get right into this you guys have heard that way too much so Actually, I'm not going to play Scarlet. We're going to play this experimental. Okay, we got Mirage. We're going to play this experimental, kind of like a ranked game. But I'm not going to be trying too much. I'll just be playing like a normal game. And then in the replays, I'm going to kind of show you what I was doing wrong. But, yeah, hopefully we can get a game first. And the thing is, pros make so many wrong decisions, it's not even funny. Like... Obviously, better pros like Boomy and like Wrench and Sansom, they don't make as many bad decisions. But like, I make a lot of bad decisions, and the only way to get around them is to limit those bad decisions. So we can also go over this gold player's bad decisions. And I could even tell you like, while you're playing, when I make a bad decision, really any move, like that Nair was a bad decision because he spot dodged, but there's no way for me to tell, so I shouldn't be focusing on that. That was a really good read. For me and it like i kind of show you it's just straight up like i shouldn't be daring i just missed like two dares in a row i just missed three dares four you kind of see what i mean so we'll go over the replay we can also go over why this uh petra is losing after eh. The dodge. That was a good option for me. I saw him recovering. Oh, the bomb was no longer there. Nice weapon throw. Nice ground pound. I'm good. Uh, I should have not neared there. I should have done something with a bit more horizontal momentum. I think maybe Sarah, but I don't really know. He didn't have a recovery. We'll be going over all of this, guys. Don't worry. But, like, you'll kind of see, like, those dares are pretty bad. I'm kind of playing very aerially. But I guess it's okay with Scythe. That's here is good. That was a really bad side light, but I missed the punish. Another bad side light. Another bad side light. Bad dare. I got the punish. I missed my down light punish. Okay, so we're going to go over exactly what I did wrong, even if I won that game, and we're going to also go over what the Petra did wrong at the same time. Um, I think we'll go over the Petra a bit more, so let's start with the Petra. And I'm just going to be showing you guys, like, what to avoid when you're playing ranked, and like... Okay, so, so we played on Shipwreck. And use the keyboard and mouse. We're going to watch this game all over again, and just one by one, I'm basically going to show you guys what the Petra did wrong. And I want you guys to do this and apply this to your own gameplay and figure out what you're doing wrong the most and how to limit that mistake. So right off the bat, Petra went for a quick side light. I backdashed to avoid the side light. That was actually a perfect backdash. But um, it was kind of seeable. I saw that he was going for the side light, so I backdashed, right? I saw that. 
But um, uh, that's fine. I maybe could have punished it, so I missed a punish there. Got the weapon. This Petra kind of ran at me. You that that you could definitely avoid. No point in running at me. I'm just gonna stare you. So maybe like wait over here a tiny bit. It's not really safe. That was a good dodge. Went for the punish. Landed it. Good try. Bad dare on my part. Nair just kind of feeling each other out. That's all fine. Here's one mistake from the Petra. Look how high I am, right? You kind of see this? I'm all the way up here. Why the hell would a Petra, this person, go for a side light? Like, it's completely random. Just gets punished for it, which is exactly what happened. I didn't get the exact punish, but I, I got it quick enough to see the Petra's reaction. So that was dumb. I got the dodge and read. That was kind of a random dodge and read for me. And I got the follow-up because of it. So all that damage, just because, what, you did a random side light? Like, try and avoid that. Good recovery. Good little weapon throw. Didn't get the follow-up too quick, but it was a good try. I missed the punish for it. That end light was kind of random. Because you could even tell from all the way up here. I'm jumping, so like... I'm trying to jump there. Why are you end lighting? It's just not even close, but whatever. Another side light. Just completely missed the spacing for it, right? So if you can avoid missing those, you're just going to get punished for it. See, I missed the punish there, and he had another side light. I missed the punish. Missed a bunch of punishes there. That's just bad spacing for me. I got to hit those. And the, pun the Petra punished me for it. I, I tried to Nair. Nair picks up grounded, but I guess his dodge... Yeah, he had iframes while we were in the same hitbox. Yeah, he had iframes. So that would have hit, but it was a good dodge. So good dodge, good punish from the Petra. Good punish, good. Now, good, good follow-up, but now you shouldn't be, you shouldn't keep extending. Side light, maybe at most try and, was it, no, sorry. So, side light, what is it? Oh, no, sorry, end light into side light, my bad. So, end light, maybe at most try and get the side light. I could react by jumping, but whatever. So, you get the side light, fine. You're not going to be able to follow up a side light with anything, so go for that weapon, right? But nope, he decides to jump and try and dare because he thinks it's cool and all. Like, try and avoid that, you know? Good sir, bad punish there. This was... Uh, I was dodging, so I guess it was a good dare. Uh, I just missed the punish for it really hard. So he got the end light, that's fine. But do you see again, he just overextended. He tried to continue up that combo with a side sig. When good players will dodge and react, which is what I did. I tried to, I did side light. And now look, he doesn't have a weapon and I'm weapon starving him. All because he didn't get that weapon in the first place. And this is me, I'm going to start building up some damage here. All because he's weaponless. That was a good dare, but I got the Sarah, he's still weaponless. Okay, fine, he gets the weapon, but now he's in red. So that was a bad mistake. He should have got the weapon. Good try on the down sig. He just barely missed. But I got the punish for it. Good dare. But um, you see what I mean? He did a dare and then he did a side light. That side light is a complete overextension and I just saw it coming. Good job doing that. But now is not the time. You don't try and follow this up. It's too risky, right? I've got a spear. I'm just going to dare you. And there's the stock. And I see he uses a recovery. So the only option he has left is a jump and a dodge. He decides to jump. So I slide charge down sig. And he's done. It's just those bad mistakes. So you got to look at yourself. It's like, okay, let me limit those mistakes. Right? And that's really all it is. Let's uh, keep going. I think I missed something there. Right here. He used his dodge. So I was going, he did a jump, and I guess he saw that Sarah incoming, but it was just a bad dodge because I missed the Sarah anyways. So now he doesn't have a dodge, and my attack starts up quicker than him. So first, why is he trying to attack me right after that dodge? There's no chance that he's punishing it quick enough. Second, he doesn't have a dodge, so now I can keep going, and I get a 3-4... Is there a four hit? Yeah, a four hit combo on him. All because he used his jump and he used his dodge. And he still could have jumped out of it, but he decided not to for some reason. He jumped all the way up here, but the recovery picked it up, right? So now he now he has nothing, and I try and keep going, but finally gets his dodge back, whatever. 
But all of that, just because he tried to react with a dare. You could easily have jumped away, right? But no, he tried to react. It was just not a safe move at the time, right? So all that damage, that's a lot of damage. And again, he did an orb attack. Instead of resetting neutral, which means like go far away, reset it. He did another attack. He did an orb dare, which just completely missed. And look, he got punished for it. Good Sair, so he only got punished once. Good little weapon throw, good ground pound. Why would you side sig there, but whatever. And all because of that side sig. Look at this, look at this. This one side sig. Like, I'm here. I guess maybe he thought of it, but you gotta understand, it's a lot easier for me to go away. And look at that. I missed the Nair, but now he's down here. He used one jump, a recovery, and I see him recovering, so guess what? I, I dare, and that's just how it works. And now he has no options, but he got back to stage because I overcommitted and that was my fault because I didn't have any options. So maybe he shouldn't have tried to follow up that there. So that's a mistake on me. Really bad side light from me. Good punish from him. He tried to extend that again. Dare into side light just doesn't really work against good players. And right here, he did another dare when I'm not even close to him. Like, you kind of see what I mean? This is called bad spacing, right? I'm here, and he thinks that Dare is gonna hit from here, right? Like, no. So I side light, and I try and get the read, didn't get the read. He did a reaction Nair? I'm over here, why is he Nairing? Like, you guys see exactly, he's Nairing. Like, that's just stupid. Good little weapon throws, Sair. Draw neutral, again, right here. He didn't... Why would he throw the weapon here? Okay, maybe he just misinputted it. But now he's using a recovery, and because he's using the recovery, I see that, so he gets punished. It's just a lot of bad options. Like, even me, I missed the dare. I shouldn't be missing the dare. I missed the side light. I shouldn't be missing the side light. But, like, him over here, he just missed the true combo, like... And you're gonna get punished for it because he did look what he did he did a side light and he tried to nair and he went down and he tried to nair again all right no he didn't side light nair i think he did try and no he tried to do a recovery right it's like okay so you're doing all these attacks i'm just gonna punish you it, they're not quick okay so then by then i've got a full stock lead from all those mistakes of him right here i kind of just got a read he kind of dashed, downlighted, and I kind of got the jump punish. Just kind of saw it coming. Good spot dodge, good nares. Good. He reset, got the weapon, so he's learning, right? Went for a side light, missed space. Really bad dare there. Why would you go for a dare when I'm here? Like, look at that. Not even close. Not close. So I got the punish. Good dodge. He tried to nair as a wake up. Bad nair. I missed the punish again. Another side light just completely missed. You see what I mean? It's just all those missed attacks. And the number one thing which I see him doing the most is he's using attacks at the wrong time. He's not hitting them when he should. Like he's like, oh, I'm gonna dare, but he's completely too far away. A dare would never hit. And that's called spacing. So he's gotta practice his spacing. So guys, I've been doing this for, I've been doing the replays, but how you improve at ranked is figure out what you're doing wrong and whatever is the easiest to take out of your game. So for him, Overextending, maybe try and play a bit slower, go one hit, reset, because at the beginning he was really extending those strings to try and hit cool shit, but he didn't really need to. And two, try and really work on what hits and be careful, don't just try and throw at attacks, right? Really think about every single attack, if it's going to hit or not, and he was just throwing out a lot of attacks that just weren't hitting. Like, I could even go right here. That's one. <laughs> you see what I mean? And that's another. Why would you say that? Another side light, right? He's not getting punished for them, but he'll eventually get punished for them. I missed another punish, but that dare was just stupid. Another down sig wake up. Another down sig. He's just attacking way too much. They're all punishable. Just because I miss those punishes doesn't mean that I'm going to miss them the next time, right? So it doesn't mean that you should keep doing it. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Have a good day. Peace. <laughs>